Hi, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Spring Boot Camel applications onto OpenShift using the S2I binary tool sets that's available in the current FIS Integration Service 2.0. I'm going to start by installing the OpenShift 3.3 environment into your local machine. Uh, make sure you download the correct versions of the OpenShift client. And this is the result that will give you and it will, it will have all the information about logging in or the environments or the um, URL of your um, OpenShift environment. So we're going to log in as a developer. As you can see, it's already created a, a, pro, a project. It's called My Project for you. Um, so now what we are going to do is we're going to install the, uh, the image stream definition into OpenShift. To do that, we have to log in as a system admin. And after we log in as system admin, uh, make sure we are in the correct folder, which is the OpenShift folder. Um, so to install it, I have a um, description file ready. All we have to do is just import it. And this configuration file contains where we can pull the um, base image of the, both the Spring Boot container and the graph container. Um, so the URL for this file will be done in the video description. So once we've uh, installed the image stream definition, we can always log back in as a developer. So normally, um, if you're developing an application, this is the um, this is probably the um, login IDs that you, you will be using. And now we are, are going to start developing our uh, application. Um, before we go start doing it, uh, I just want to make sure you have the correct um, archetype. Um, so we're going to use the Maven archetype because it helps us to, um, to build the space of how the Spring Boot um, container uh, file uh, for us to deploy. It will have all the related um, uh, palm relationships and everything so we don't have to find out ourselves, which is a great space to start with if you're starting from scratch. At least you have some file, kind of file architecture. And then here, um, you'll see in this archetype, it's going to create a very simple um, Java DSL, which is going to print out some kind of logs um, every five seconds. And um, if you don't like Java DSL, then you can always go back and use the, um, the uh, XML DSL, where you can use the drag and drop toolings to do it. Now, once we've um, uh, created our camel routes, it's time to start playing with it. So there are two uh, major plugins that we have here in the Palm XML file. The one, first one is Camel, uh, the Spring Boot one, and the second one is Fabricate. So we're going to start by running um, the Spring Boot Camel applications locally to make sure that it runs. Okay, that looks that looks great. So we're going to start deploying it into onto OpenShift with the new binary S2I toolings. And it's provided by calling the Fabricate plugin. So all we have to do is just type in Maven Fabricate Deploy. And then it's going to use your OC, OC descriptions and your OpenShift client contents and then log and push your push your binary code and build your container on OpenShift. As you can see, it's going to actually um, create and and config your uh, build config and deployment config for you so you don't have to write it yourself. And um, so it's going to be here. And then if you take a look at the um, deployment, application deployments, uh, and here you will see all the deployment configuration as well. And here we are in the pod. Pods are the running instance of your CAM application, and here in the log, it's running. And if you're actually going to go see a more graphical uh, representation of the CAM as we had before in uh, FIS 1.0, this is where you go. And here you go, this is, a, um, this is a more graphical representation of everything. So thank you.